Greetings Trimaris! Today is day two of the 20-day instrumental challenge. Instrumental, because everything is a pun. Uh, reminder that this particular challenge does not require that you practice the guitar. You can practice any instrument you like. And for those of you who don't own an instrument, there are people in our uh, kingdom who have extras. And so if you're just interested in learning an instrument, these are good tutorials. They're pretty cheap online. I can show you some resources and Lord knows what happens. So, you know, shout out on the list if there's an instrument you really, really want to learn to play and that, you, you know, you feel like it's viable for you to do so. Um, you know, cause like, I would love to play the violin. We're going to start with the guitar cause it's, it's a little easier. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, with this wonderful challenge, I personally am working on my guitar. I am going to work on some other instruments, uh, throughout the challenge, but this is the one that qualifies because I'm willing to commit 15 minutes of my day every single day and more on certain days. <laughs> so, um, so one of the things that I've been struggling with is a transition from D and D minor to like anything, you know, uh, or rather anything to D and D minor. Um, and they're very simple chords, um, you know, or rather they're no more complex than any of the others. Um, they just weren't the first ones that I learned. <laughs> I really like the D minor, uh, in a handful of different songs to include Melano, which is one of my very favorites, but, uh, I, I did it successfully a couple of times, maybe like a year ago, I mean like a decade ago. <laughs> so I have an opportunity. <laughs> and so we're going to be working on D and D minor. Eventually we're going to get back to A. Um, but again, that's going to be later after I'm sure that these are solid. So we're going to be working on our transitions to and from D and D minor and try to work on some of the buzziness too. So if you don't have your fingers exactly right, then, uh, you know, with the appropriate pressure, then you'll get a little bit of a buzz. Or if like your one of your fingers are touching another string that it shouldn't be, sometimes you can be cutting the sound or you know, changing the sound of your chord or whatever string you're, you're strumming. So with no further ado, I'm waiting for my time clock to click over. Uh, again, I am Ombra McKelly from the Kingdom of Trimaris. My name is Samantha Moore. I am a Laurel of the um, known world uh, with a focus in poetry. <laughs> Obviously not the guitar, because you know, the guitar is not actually a period. But for our society anachronistic uh, use, uh, people like the guitar in the background. So the great thing is I've got like a travel guitar that kind of looks uh, looty. And so that's my grand balance between bard and, and true and, uh, you know, recreationist or, or, uh, you know, medieval historical person. So, <laughs> um, I do want to learn more of the harp. I do play an Irish drum. Um, this is just one that allows me to facilitate my songs a little bit better. So with no further ado, since I've rambled on, we have our time check and, uh, 15 minutes. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to go from, this is a D, and this is a D minor. Alright, so we're going to start with D. Just going to transition to the different chords. So D, G, D, minor, D, E, D. C, D, E major, D, F. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing with D minor. D minor, G, D minor, A minor, D minor, F. That's not demon at all. Goodness. What am I doing wrong? There we go. D minor. E. D minor. Back to E minor again. Okay, there we go. D minor. E major. D minor. F. D minor. All right, so now we're going to try that in three strum patterns. So starting with the 
C doesn't seem to be as challenging, but going from G in particular, because it's a total reset.
Alright, so let's play with D minor. F's getting me troubles today. <laughs> Buzz. Oh, it's that middle finger. There we go. Just not an easy card. Literally.
That's what it is. Okay. Okay. So it's not quite that easy. Okay. There we go. That's a D minor. Which I have. My brain just shut down when I started going D to D minor. So that's the D minor. That's the D. That stays the same. No. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. <sighs> okay, well, that's it for today. <laughs> Um, I was doing some decent transitions uh, from the chords that I know to and from D minor and D. It took me a little while to get the hang of it again, but um, I did. Um, obviously, some more work to do. Definitely some fuzziness uh, taken out from yesterday, uh, but um, still plenty in there, <laughs> especially when transitioning from F um, or to F. No, no, basically from F um, or to D minor. In particular, I think it's because my fingers don't want to like bend the right way, um, but they will. I will get them into shape. Um, so yeah, when I transitioned from D to all the other chords I knew, most of it was clean, and then from D minor to all the other chords I knew, most of it was clean-ish. Um, but when I tried to transition from D minor to D and D to D minor. Like my fingers forgot everything we have learned in the last two days. <laughs> so uh, that will be a good place to pick up tomorrow. Anyway, I'm done rambling. Thank you for your time and good luck in your uh, personal development of your artistic skills and the arts of bardic, whether it be instrumental or performance or vocal or storytelling or poetry. <laughs> and um, let us know if you need any help or encouragement or, uh, you know, just some cheerleading because we're good at that. <laughs> uh, so look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Take care. Bye.